Welcome back to our Bigfoot Truck Camper Renovation Series. In this episode, we're going to be replacing some vents and resealing the whole roof of this Bigfoot Truck Camper because it's never been done since 1997. Today is roof day. We're going to give the roof some attention. Looks like it's been a long time since it's seen any. There is remnants of old sealant here and there, possibly like two layers of it. So probably the original and then one more maybe, but it's all crap. So uh, probably be better done when the camper's back down closer to the ground, not 12 and a half feet up in the air. Um, other than, you know, it's just a long climb up and down. I'm sure I'll be up and down a few times today, but um, I just want to get it done. We've been getting lots of rain and today maybe it's not going to rain. So uh, I just want to get that done. Also, I need to do some layout up there. We're in the planning stages, so I need to know things like what I need to get for solar panels, what I can fit in there. I'm hoping to fit around a thousand watts up there. So um, let's get up there and get started. Not gonna lie here, these 27 year old plastic ladder steps. I know plastic can get brittle over time, but uh, I kind of question them. They seem sturdy. Hopefully one doesn't break. On my ups and downs, or I'll have extra downs. So I got some tools up here already. The rear vent over the bathroom, it's actually the best of shape for sealant and I think I'm going to change that one. The one in the middle has like a fantastic fan that's uh, older but it seems good and it works so I think I'm going to leave that or reseal that. That solar panel is coming off and uh, then the big uh, skylight escape hatch up there needs a definite resealing. The vents aren't sealed externally at all they just have their between the vent and the roofs, and they're cracked, so that one is. This one here looks newer, but uh, I'll definitely do uh, see there's screws in here. For what, I don't know. Maybe an old vent, but they don't have any lap sealant on them at all, so definitely all that stuff's gonna get lap sealant. The ladder mounts, the uh, roof rack mounts. So uh, we got our work cut out for us. So I got the screws out. There's four screws on these brackets. I'm kind of surprised to see uh, like a threaded machine screw. So there must be inserts in the roof. I don't know. I don't think it had factory solar. I don't think it even had something like that back in 97. I guess they did. But um, there must be some kind of inserts in there. So now this, uh, this glue they used, it's hard, really hard. So I don't know what it's going to take to break these things free here. Oh, not much. Huh. It seems really hard on the surface, but its bonding strength isn't really exceptional. That side. Why do we feel so solid still? Ah, there's still stuff to the rubbers underneath. Huh, it's like a rubber insert of some sort. Now, yeah, so that's what it is. It's a, like a rubber expansion plug they used in the roof. with a brass insert so they expand. The brass pulls up and compresses the rubber. Oh there. Now I gotta get the wire out for the uh, solar. Which, oh, maybe I can just pull it. Uh, looks like there's a hole there. So I'm gonna take this cap off and see what's up in there. Okay, I got those screws all out. Basically you just need to 
Man, that's a stupid place to put a hole. Water running off the sloped roof, right into there. Oh, that side's uh, got a hole in it. That's why there's old wasp or hornet's nest or something in there. So we we'll definitely have to fix that. Screen's good though. I may want to put a finer mesh on there though. That uh, mosquitoes just fly right in there. I'll give this a brush and uh, give her another lap sealant. Glue a piece of plastic on there and uh, that'll be good. This is a tool that I just recently discovered existed. A wire brush that you can put on your um, reciprocating saw. Pretty cool. Saves you a bunch of these. But that uh, speeds up the process a little bit. Pretty slick. I might want to run some air up here and I guess blow all that crap off before I reseal it. Get rid of as much of this old dried up stuff as we can. So instead of running the air hose all the way up here, I just went and grabbed a uh, broom. We'll give her a quick sweep and then uh, seal it up. Uh, but we got her all scraped down. While, uh, while I was down there, I grabbed my toque. It's not so warm today. We'll, uh, do a big plug in this hole where the wire went down. Almost, uh, probably more than three, uh, about three quarters of a tube, probably, just for that one little thing. I got four tubes. Should be close. So I'll cut a piece of, uh, call this no see -em screen. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Any support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see some more current content and behind the scenes action, check us out on Patreon. There, one bent done. After probably an hour and a half of chipping, I got lots of the sealant off around here. And so I didn't catch a video of um, progress on the roof vent or escape hatch, whatever you call it. I ended up getting this off and um, it took me an hour and a half or so of cleaning up all the glue and everything, but it did end up sliding off the track here. It had quite a bit of cracking in it. The back corners were cracked and everything. So I made this aluminum frame. I just took a piece of, um, I think it's one inch angle iron, bent the corners and uh, just gave them a little weld to make them strong again. So I bent that around and I riveted the back into the, through the metal hinge and um, threw a couple rivets in the front where there's some cracks were and, and uh, then I actually did um, some five minute epoxy also. Where the rivets were, I put five minute epoxy in between the aluminum. I just kind of poured it in after. And uh, because that's where most of the cracking was and these back corners were really cracked. So I epoxied the cracks and poured some in between the aluminum. This one was really cracked. So that should be pretty strong now. And uh, I don't have to worry about it breaking when we're on the road. Should be good with that aluminum, so we'll get it uh, back installed up there. Also, the uh, the track that goes underneath this, that the little arm lifts, had a little roller in it. And that roller broke, it was brittle, I guess, and it broke when I was taking it apart. So this was, uh, this is a bit of a pain. I made up a roller with a, well it's not even a roller, it's just a washer, but I had to 
drill the washer with a countersink tool to get a taper and then put a tapered head screw in there and file it flat. So it's, there was really narrow channel. So it was the only way I could get something to slide in there. And I just have this black brass, what are those called? The furl? Furl? Something like that. From an uh, uh, expansion, what do you call it? Compression uh, fitting. And for a spacer in there. And uh, hopefully that'll work. So we'll get all, get up there on the roof again and get this installed. Also, I got this all cleaned up and I put some some lap sealant on all the screws and around where the seam is. We can get this roller installed. Side and crank it closed. One reinforced and resealed escape hatch. Well, moment of truth. We'll see uh, if my little homemade roller works. Well, it seems to slide okay. That's how she goes. Vent. And uh, if you want to open the hatch, just like that. And down she goes and closes tight. Nice. So I'm up here on the roof again today. Um, I still have the one more vent to uh, seal up in the middle here. The back one I'm still going to change, so I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I'm going to say that this uh, sealant is not sealed anymore. There's some dirt and stuff down in here. It's rock hard though. I'm trying to get off what I can. And, uh, Clean out the groove between the um, clean out the groove in between there as much as we can and get up any loose stuff freed up. And then we'll just reseal that groove. That it's uh, it's old and sun beaten, I guess. So we'll get her cleaned up as good as we can and get her sealed up. All right, another roof vent down. So we got that one, uh, that one was tough. I was into the fiberglass sometimes. It was just chiseling, chiseling, chiseling. So I got the whole groove cleaned out around there and sealed it up good and uh, put a dab on each one of these old solar panel um, plugs. So everything's sealed up here now. All the ladder, oh, I got that one ladder one that's still in that vent area to do. But I did the vents and uh, the rack mounts. I did the one ladder mount and then this vent I'm still going to change. So I got to wait till that comes in. And uh, we'll put a new vent there and get that sealed up. I've used three tubes of, uh, of lap sealant. So Dicor lap sealant. So that's three tubes to go around that vent, that vent, this vent four dabs on those holes around these two plumbing vents and then a little bit around each ladder mount three tubes of, of sealant so you go through quite a bit of it like I don't pour it on like uh, like you see on a lot of other RVs so it, uh, it goes on pretty quick out of your tubes we are gonna get a proper fan in this bathroom today We'll take this old girl out. I didn't bother resealing the roof uh, at this fan yet because I was going to change it. Because these little things, I don't know. 
it's uh, not the best. It still works though. Kind of noisy. But uh, yeah, I got a new one with the big bullseye fan. So we'll uh, get this inner trim piece out and then we'll get up on the roof and uh, start scraping off the old sealant and get that fan out of there. Okay, so now need to get out all these screws to pick out the rock hard sealant all the screw heads one by one take them out we got one two three four five six about on each side so 20 some screws we'll keep going at that i see my uh ladder bolts down over top or screws down over top of this thing so i'm probably gonna have to remove this side of the ladder Okay, so I got all the screws out of here. Now, just a matter of prying it up. Just like that. So I'll cut these wires and um, get this thing out of the way and then we can clean this all up really nice around here. So this stuff here, the be old beetle, is actually still Kind of flexible and easy to bring up. Whatever this stuff is, though, rock hard. Here's our new fan. So uh, we'll make sure it all fits in the hole nice before we get too carried away sealing it in. We'll make sure the vent is to the, or the, the hinge for the vent cover is to the front. And uh, she fits in there nice. Looks like a good fit. And um, then this ladder mount is gonna go just over the flange back here a little bit once we get it all in. So the black is positive according to the markings on this. And we have blue and white. So I'm guessing maybe blue is positive on the camper. So power button, there we go. Speeds. I put one of these in the bathroom of the uh, Duchess and it worked really good. It's uh, probably the lower priced ones on Amazon, but uh, it's got six speeds, moves a lot of air, reverses, remembers what speed and direction it was at if you turn it off and back on again, which is kind of cool. It doesn't have an automatic open or close or anything fancy like that, but works good. Okay, so I'm going to get this butyl around here and I'll put it where the screws are. So I'll kind of put it flush with the edge so it covers the screw holes. So we get extra sealing on the screw holes. All right. As long as they're in and not between the goo. How are we looking? Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in. Good? Okay, she's stuck. Now we'll get screws all around and um, then we'll lap seal it all. Around. Fan. Okay, 
So this is the trim piece that goes on the bottom. You can see they leave it extra long. It's like uh, four and a half inches. So we're gonna cut it down to an inch and a half. Okay, so I made a mark where the wires are and I made a mark one inch up. So I am going to drill a hole to give myself a little bit of room for the wires to go. So then the wires come through there. I'm just going to open that up so I'll have a little spot for the wires to sit. There it is, one installed, ceiling fan, roof vent. So this concludes our Bigfoot Camper roof maintenance episode. So stay tuned for a future episode where we fit as many solar panels on this roof as we possibly can. It's going to be nuts.